Hey friends, it's Haley Bird. Welcome back to my studio. You know I'm always thrilled to have you. So today's tutorial comes about because I've had a few questions about how much paint to mix for my paintings. Now, of course, there's no right or wrong answer as far as how much paint you need for each painting because every artist, every subject, every painting, everything is gonna vary every time, you know? So there isn't like one specific formula like this much paint covers this much surface because it really depends on how thick you lay it down, how many layers you do, if you do an impasto, anything like that, all that can vary. So what I figured the best way for me to translate how much paint I mix for my paintings is by doing something that is about the size and shape of something we're all pretty familiar with. So if you notice, I am painting a human hand that is just about the size of my human hand. And since we're all pretty familiar with the size of a human hand, I figured that if I show you how much paint I mix to cover about this size surface, then you guys will be able to sort of map it out and figure it out for yourself your own works. Now, of course, I am a painter who tends to do one main layer, and then I'll just kind of go up back and do some details. So if you do multiple layers or thick impasto, like I said, then you're going to need to switch it up a little bit. But I figured rather than trying to like, you know, weigh millimeters of paint or whatever, it would be much better just to kind of show you what I do for this type of surface. So anyways, I hope this translates well. I hope you learn a little something. If you do, please think about hitting that subscribe button. It really goes a long way for helping me grow my channel. And of course, make sure that you come back over and over again. And if you have any questions for me, please let me know because this video actually came about because I had a few people ask me questions. So I am more, more, more than happy to make videos just for you guys and all the art tips that you need. Hope you enjoy it. Mwah. Thanks for being here. So the first thing to keep in mind when laying out your paints is to only lay out the paints that you will need for the specific project that you are tackling. So when I am painting skin tone, and I know that that's going to be my main focal point for one, two, three, four sessions, however many, I go ahead and lay out all the paints that I need just for creating that specific skin tone. Now I know this looks like a lot of paint and you're like, really? But yes, I attended a figure painting session in France with some really amazing and accomplished artists and they had this nice variety on their palette and that's how I learned to do it like this and ever since then I gotta tell you I am sold having so many options of course I can mix all of these colors myself but honestly in this day and age with all these options and high quality paints why bother now as far as pre mixing my palette for a specific subject I usually tend to work starting from the middle and going out. So I will mix up whatever my middle values are and then I will slowly make things darker or lighter as I see fit. So that's the process you're gonna see me doing today. And you can see as I work, I take little bits, little bits and mix slowly. What happens if you use too much of a mixed color right off the bat, you're going to wind up having to compensate by using a whole bunch of the other colors. So as I'm using my palette light, I am literally dipping in the tiniest, tiniest little amounts just to slightly alter each shade. Now, of course, when mixing paint, you're going to want to think about the actual size of the linen or canvas area that you are going to be covering. So you'll kind of have that in proportion. Like I said, I'm mixing something for about the size of a human hand, so it's not going to be a whole lot of paint. But if you're doing a full figure or something like that, you're going to want to do quite a bit extra. Now, a little trick that I have learned is I like to pre-mix my entire gradient before I start painting, and I want that gradient to last for the entire painting. Now, of course, I will go in and alter things and add a little purple here, or a little blue there. But for my main five to six colors in the prime gradient, I like to have it completely mixed up for a painting before I begin. Now, this is great for two reasons. For one, it really, really helps you on your time later on. If you're not having to continually mix the same thing over and over again, obviously it's going to save you some time. And for two, it's going to give your painting a very unified look. It can be very difficult to specifically and precisely 
match a paint that you have done that you have created or somebody else has created beforehand and then you're going to spend all this time trying to make it work and what will happen sometimes is that the face will look different than the chest or one arm will look different than the other because even though it is very minuscule difference when the painting is dry and you're looking at it as a whole sometimes you will really see that there are different colors used for the highlights or the lowlights and intended different colors are one thing but when you don't intend it and it's just not unified then it can almost ruin a painting sadly and last but not least when thinking about my proportions I try to imagine how many sessions it is going to take me to paint this specific piece of the painting because as we all know Thank you so much for being here today, folks. I hope you learned a little something, and if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next time.